So then, top of the bill, let's get the introductions from Nacho Gutierrez. Spain. We are set to go with the main event of this evening. Damas y caballeros, y ahora sí, quiero escuchar a este público, quiero escuchar a Bilbao, porque solo ahora, damas y caballeros, esto no hay quien lo detenga. Ahora es el tiempo. interview when the fight was first announced Jack Blackley in the blue corner there said when I'm an old man I'll look back on this and be proud how proud surely will depend on the result as the crowd sing let's go Kerman ahead of this European super welterweight title fight and we're yeah. underway 12 rounds here in the Bilbao arena can Blackley silence the crowd as Neharaga gets to work straight away on the front foot and has success with the left hand. Let's go, Kerman, once again. Here's the chant from the crowd here in Bilbao, in northern Spain. And Neharaga, always aggressive, always looking to get on the front foot, as he was in winning the title against the Frenchman Dylan Charat in September. He does so again. moving in both directions, upwards moving to the left, onto the right hand, moving both ways, keeping the Haraga thinking. But the Haraga has been a very positive opening round from the local man, very positive on the front foot. Oh, and he's oh. in with a jab, brilliant shot from the Haraga inside the last 20 seconds of the opening round, and flatly looked on very unsteady legs as he went down. Will he be saved by the bell here? The referee waves box on, flatly onto the back foot. This could be a sensational finish. He's badly hurt and on the ropes as the bell rings. So all of that happened right at the end of the round and flatly did look as though he was on unsteady legs. Looked as though he was more hurt than in that fight against Troy Williamson. Can he respond here? Can Leharaga build up that tempo again? He hurts Flatley with the jab. Flatley tries to cover up, throws his own shots back, but still that piercing left jab of Leharaga is the dominant punch of the contest. Right hook, Flatley there. Solid work again from yeah. Leharaga to the body and the head there. Yeah, really Good variation. So impressed with the jab. Big right hand from the Haraga. He took it well flatly. Don't be southwest. Don't be southwest. Tremendous atmosphere here in the Bilbao Arena as the Haraga lands another left hook, another heavy shot. After good work on the jab from Flatley. Beautiful again from Flatley. Showing his skill in the contest again. Takes a right hand and the Haraga gets set to follow up. And this is good work, as you say, Darren. This is an improved Leharaga. He's really picking the punches here and finding the gaps. Well, when you consider where the British fighter was at the end of the opening round, this is turning into a sterling performance, and we're not yet at halfway. A minute to go in the fifth round. He's got final success with a jab, but now an uppercut from Leharaga gets through, and Leharaga goes on the attack once again, and Flatley is forced to cover up. An uppercut gets through from that exchange. Then a left hook. Leharaga steps off to give himself punching room. Meat and those shots from Leharaga, the beautiful left uppercut, I think, that stunned Flatley ever so slightly and just backed him into the ropes here, but credit to Flatley, he's still there, letting his hands go, trying to exchange hooks with Leharaga. Another short right uppercut goes in from the Spaniard as well. Good action here in the fifth round. That was a lovely combination from Flatley, but 
the applause was for the hook that was the response of Laharaga. He yeah, caught that left hook. Flatly, damage under the right eye is damaging. It made us struggling to see those hooks come in. Start the seventh round, it doesn't seem to be any signs of Leharaga tiring. It's working really, really well, head and body. And if Jack Flatley does notice that there's been a dip in the work rate from Leharaga, it's down to him then to get to work. He's trying to sap the energy even more of Leharaga. He's looking strong, the Spaniard on the front foot. The right hand to the body, though, from Flatley. Back comes Leharaga, working the body well. And we can hear the sound of those punches above the crowd noise here at ringside when they land on our side of the ring. And they are punishing shots. Whatever happens here, Flatley will be hurting in the morning. These are powerful punches running home from the Herald. But still, Flatley is trying to measure him with a jab. But were those legs unsteady from Flatley there from that latest exchange? Good right hand, Mike, sorry, from flat knees. Some acknowledgement from Leroy, who lands a left hook. The knees dip flat knee. And somehow, flat knee stays on his feet and comes back and lands another one of those right hands that brought him success just a few seconds ago. <laughs> right hand over the top from Leroy, and flat knee is down once again. He's looking at his corner. Gets up now, the referee wants confirmation from Flatley that he's OK to continue and it's maybe as much as half of this round to go. How now can he survive? Can he pull up as Leharaga goes to the body? This will be a test of a kind of Leharaga and his finishing ability. The Still the blood appearing beneath the nose of Jack Flatley as we move into the final third of the contest. And very little sign so far of Leharaga tiring as Flatley's corner were hoping, but what a response from Flatley with that four punch combination. But can he sustain it? That's been the issue so far. He hasn't been able to build on his successes, but he's gone on the front foot. He's busy fire with fire and a right hand from Chairman Leharaga. Finishes the contest. Leharaga kisses the canvas and now asks for respect for the fallen man, Jack Flatley, beaten, knocked out by a single pinpoint clinical right hand. And we just see Leharaga jumps in with a big one two there. Beautiful shot right on the point of the chin. And he was completely gone as he's on his way down. He's gone and you see the head bounce off the canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, the knockout of the round nine, and is still European Super Water Champion, Campeon, for Rakao, in an assault of number nine, regaining his title of Europa, German, the Republic, the El revolver.